Big guy upstairs. Oh, dude, that's some big explosions. Be real. So you just, you just done. There you go. Go. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Go, 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 go. Team play. Nice. Nice. Look at that. Nice. Ooh. Can you blow him up? Okay, that's that's fun. Nice, yeah. nice, dude. Hell yeah. Saw so dudes. Rainbow Six Extraction is getting some new content in the form of something called Crisis Events. So basically, a Crisis Event is an in-game challenge that runs for three weeks and offers a unique gameplay challenge to spice things up a little bit. In this instance, it's an event called Nightmare Fog, wherein the world is engulfed in Purple Flurp. That's what we'll call it. Unbeknownst to the operators of Team Rainbow, Purple Drank, at least this particular mixture, aside from seizures and constipation, causes hallucinations of alien life forms, which you will encounter more frequently the more you are exposed to the outside elements. It is up to Team Rainbow to stop Double Cup's plan to engulf the United States in a codeine cloud. The Caesarpification of San Francisco, a promethazine power play. Everything you know and love about Rainbow Six Extraction is pretty par the course, aside from the Caesarp site blockage and occasional sightings of aliens that may or may not be in the room with us right now. Over time, however, your toxin levels will increase with more exposure, and you'll get a little chopped and screwed. He's all screwed up and chopped, man! At a codeine consumption rating of 100%, your liver is, uh... It, it's not... It's not gonna have a good time. To counteract the slowing effect of these drugs, Harry came up with an ingenious solution to airdrop crates of co Sorry, operators, I was told we got some details wrong. Okay, a correction. Okay, we are told white girls will be arriving at your location. That's weird. I don't I don't know what this means. Was that bandit? He's not even in this game. Remember, operators, the sacrifice of the longevity of your internal organs will help us make the world a better place. These toxin-reducing power-ups are not optional. Nightmare Fog makes planning your journey through the alien-infested map important as you're operating on borrowed time wherever you go. So drone stuff out and spam the spotting key. Your drone may occasionally find safe room, which will render you immune from the buildup of your toxin levels. Find those Red Bull coolers and keep them in the back of your mind as you embark on your journey, as only safe rooms and airlocks will prevent further liver damage. Everything you know and loved about Rainbow Six Extraction is still here, but this new modifier adds a whole different level of complexity to it. In previous iterations of Extraction, it wasn't unreasonable to just rush B and win by sheer gamer fuel injection alone, but now the time limit of lean exposure makes planning and coordination with your team a much bigger deal than it used to be, and I like that. Since this is a PvE game, operator abilities can be overpowered and fun. Vigil can cloak his entire team, something that I did, to gain access to a much needed safe house for my team. Gotta rip it down. Yep, yep, yep. No, oh, good. Nice, nice, nice. I got it. One for each of us. Right. Beautiful. When extraction is at its best gunplay wise, you get to play around with the enhanced faster movement that's more similar to previous versions of Siege, and the toxin timer incentivizes gadget usage, kind of similar to another game I play. I fucking love droning. I love setting up my team for success by giving them information. I love playing Alien Goop Power Washing Simulator. It's Siege, but you're shooting aliens with old school movement. An alibi can use the all of 556, in case you were wondering. I know that Rainbow Six Extraction released with mixed reception, but I think this will be a good reason for you to try and pick it up again. If anything, what they've done with the game here is at least a very interesting tech demo for things that they could potentially try out in Siege. The graphics engine in Extraction is improved considerably, and you can see it in the gun models, especially, which, as a gun nerd, I am very... Very happy about. Dude, the RTX in this game is great too. Like the, yeah. the colors on the guns. Oh. Yeah, and there's so like glad. little um, yeah, the texture. I I can't get over the textures. There's little like there's little like dents and dings on like the site where you can see like the metal. Yeah. Just looks super um, realistic. I mean, again, like just like moving, scratches and stuff. Moving yeah. my gun around and having the purples and blues like 
uh, be cast onto my gun. Like, as, as soft of a metal as it is with almost no sheen. Like, beautiful. If anything, the actual art design of the game is really impressive, and I think it's meant to be played with all the graphics turned up as high as you can. It turns it into an action-packed alien horror adventure movie. These crisis events are available at any level of progression or operator unlocks. You will need to have three operators that you can play. If you ran out of stuff to do in Extraction proper, I'd say now's a great time to try it out again. If you'd like to see some more content from Extraction, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to see people's feedback on this video. Thanks so much for watching. Deuces.